Stay. What can you tell me about the Sassal blacksmiths? Well, there's Mikesh. He's honest enough. And a fair hand at everyday things. And then there's Master Otter. He used to have talent, but now he's too old. And too proud to admit it. Do you work any copper here, Master Blacksmith? Why do you ask? I'd want to commission you to make something. Then you'd best go elsewhere. I never use copper. Aha. Uh -huh. So back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I told you I don't work with copper. Aha. Uh -huh. The sun sets out. And hurry up, I've no patience for beggars. What can you tell me about the Sassal blacksmiths? <laughs> There's too many of us, I'll tell you that for free. This is only a small town. There's Zack, who has a forge in the craftsman's yard and mostly works on the construction of the church. And then, apart from me, there's Master Armourer Otter of Rabstein. Tell me more about Zack. Don't have much time for him myself. He knows his craft, no question. But he seems to think his son, Vitus, will be a Master Armourer in Prague one day. My father was a blacksmith, and I expect he thought much the same about me. That's how fathers are, isn't it? Of course, any man should be proud of his boy. But Zack makes pride a sin. That's why he's at loggerheads with Master Otter. Can you tell me something about Master Otter? Well now, there's a master to look up to. He's worked for the Lords of Kunstadt and for the richest townsfolk of Prague. If you don't mind my asking, what brings him here? The same as draws all reasonable people. He's enjoying the peace and quiet. Or rather, he used to enjoy some peace. That dispute with Zack must have put a few more wrinkles on his brow. What are Zack and Master Otter arguing about? Zack had his boy Vitus trained as an armourer in Kuttenberg, and he wanted to buy out Otter's place for him. Except that Otter's a proud man. How would it have looked? A master armourer giving way to a young whippersnapper who's barely let go of his mother's skirts? And they've been arguing ever since. Well, Zack mostly. He badmouths Otter every chance he gets. He claims that he's only fit for mending pots, and that his son will see him off. That will be all. Thank you. Do you ever work with copper here? No, and even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Zack from the Monastery Craftsman's Yard has bought out all the copper. Take it quick before I faint from the stink. What can you tell me about the blacksmiths here in Sasso? Depends which ones you mean. In the town there's Mikesh. He's a decent man and an honest craftsman. And in the yard by the monastery there's Zack. But there's not many good words I can say about him. Tell me something about Mikesh. Like I said, he's an honest craftsman which isn't something you can say about every blacksmith in town. What about the monastery blacksmith, Zack? Well, him and me don't exactly see eye to eye. He wanted to buy my business, but I turned him down. Ever since then, he hasn't had a good word to say about me. That will be all. Thank you. Do you make anything out of copper, Master? I do a bit of Damascene decor sometimes. Why do you ask? I'm looking for someone who could do me some copper sheets. Well, that's pretty rough and ready work. I wouldn't waste my time with it. But go and ask Zack from the craftsman's yard by the monastery. He's bought up all the copper to be had around here anyway.
So back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I told you I don't work with copper. That's not what I heard. What? I was told in town that you bought all the other blacksmiths copper. I'm being made a fool of yet again, it seems. Anything else? I still have work to do. What is it? Your father says you don't work any copper. We don't. I've heard differently around town. They say your father's bought up all the copper to be had. Are you calling me a liar? Or my father? You're asking for it, boy. Just be sure you know what you're letting yourself in for. Was that a threat? Do you think I'm an idiot? You don't get it, do you? I don't particularly want to fight with you. I don't have the time or the need to prove anything. So I'll just take my knife and stick it between your ribs. And then I'll keep twisting until you tell me the truth. Jesus Christ! Are you insane? Maybe. So are you going to talk? Just take it easy. You're right. We do make copper sheets here at night. So why all the secrecy about it? Father forbade me to talk about it. I don't know why. I didn't ask. Who buys those sheets from you? I don't know. I've never set eyes on him. Father doesn't like to talk about it. Your father has some serious explaining to do. Jesus, please don't hurt him. We'll see about that. So back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I told you I don't work with copper. Your son put it quite differently. What's that? What are you blabbering on about? Don't be angry with him. I didn't give him any choice. All right. I suppose there's no point lying. We do make copper sheets here, and I wanted to keep it quiet. Why? Pays me good money, and the people I do it for. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of them. Did they threaten you? They didn't have to. Just by the look of them, I could say I needed to shut my mouth and do what they wanted. And did they ever tell you who they were? Do you know where to find them? I know a little. I'd show some understanding. There's nothing but trouble in it for me. I'll lose the work and be left looking over my shoulder for some thugs to come and burn down my house. Or worse. If you don't cooperate, you'll be getting a lot worse than that from me. There's no need for threats. We can both benefit here. If I tell you everything I know, you can help me with a certain small matter. One that'll cover up for my loss of earnings. So what are we talking about? I recently tried to buy Master Armourer Otto Rabstein's business for my son Vitas. But that old fool wouldn't listen to reason. He said he couldn't understand his legacy being taken over by a clod like my Vitus. Despite the insult, I doubled my offer. But Master Otter still wouldn't budge. And what is it you need from me? I thought I'd show Otter that Vitus isn't such a dolt as he thinks. But for that, I need someone experienced in combat. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. What's your plan? Otter's busy making a very pretty suit of armour for the bailiff. So I was thinking, if we could show that pretty armour of his is absolutely useless, he'd be disgraced. And how am I supposed to see to that? Well, I reckon we'd arrange a duel of champions with bludgeons. You'll put on Vitus's armour, and Otter will send his champion in that tin shit of his. You invite the bailiff to watch, and Otter will be made a laughingstock in front of everyone. And what do I get out of it? What we already agreed. I'll give up dealing in copper, and I'll tell you everything I know about what's been going on. Do you really think that will work? Otter's always mouthing off in the alehouse that my young lad isn't worth a damn. Once I show he's just a bitter old bastard spouting hot air, his business will be ruined, and Vitus will reap the reward. What with all the strife in the country these days, there'll be no end of work for a good armourer. 
But what if I lose? Nonsense. How could you? Light as his armour is light as an eggshell and hard as a rock. How about if the armour for the bailiff mysteriously went missing? Jesus Christ! Don't even talk about it. Although, if Otter doesn't agree to the duel, it might be the only option. Exactly. And if you want to wreck Otter's reputation, not keeping his promise to the bailiff could be even worse for him than your idea. You're right. Do whatever you think fit, then. But if the armour gets, uh, lost, don't come to me afterwards. I know nothing about it, right? Of course. About that cop. I told you everything. I'll be on my way. I can't wait. Master Armourer, I have a message for you from Blacksmith Zack. If it's another one of his so-called generous offers, you can go straight back and tell him I'm not selling, and that's that. No, this is another matter. Vitus wants to challenge you to a duel. What? <laughs> Me fight with that brat? Zack must have lost his mind entirely. Surely you're not afraid of him, Master Otter. Ha! Me? Afraid of him? Nonsense. But a respectable craftsman like me can't be seen battering a barely trained runt. It will be a duel with bludgeons. No bloodshed. At most a few bruises and some dents in the armour. Zack chose me to wear a Vitus armour. And so I'm to choose a champion of my own? That sounds reasonable. Good. So let's agree on the time and place. Hold your horses, young fella. I've got a counter-offer for you. Now, I'm sure Zack is paying you well. Maybe I'm just doing it out of love for my neighbour. Aye, a regular good Samaritan, no doubt. I could pay you more. And I'd tailor make a Kiros just for you. What do you say? You mean if I fight as you're a champion instead? I'm not sure how Zack would take it. No, no, you fight on Zack's side and lose. That's not very honourable. And Zack's constant slander and mudslinging are the height of honour, are they? Jesus. Look where you're going. But what if Zack's right? You're not as young as you used to be, and Vitus has trained with renowned masters. What?! You're as impertinent as that bastard Zack and his whelp of a son. How dare you? I don't need help from the likes of you. You'll get such a battering even Brother Nicodemus from the monastery won't know which side of you is up. Now clear off. Not until you tell me where and when we should meet. I don't know. Sort it out with the bailiff. He should come anyway so I don't get the blame when you get beaten to a pulp. God be with you. I'm here on behalf of blacksmith Zack. Zack? What does that madman want now? Don't tell me. It's another complaint about the master armorer. Well, you can tell Zack if you waste another minute of my time with that 
pathetic feud of his. I'll have him up for disrespecting the office of the bailiff. No, it's not a complaint this time. In fact, Zack came up with an idea to settle the dispute once and for all. Is that so? Well, that's a different kettle of fish. That's just what I was after. You have my full attention, friend. What's his plan? A duel. Jesus Christ! Has he lost his wits entirely? Zack is a madman, I can't deny it. But this would just be a duel with bludgeons. Nothing too dangerous. Now hold on a moment, young fellow. Zack is a respected tradesman. He doesn't do for folk to go around doubting his sanity. Certainly not his messenger boy. I'm not his messenger boy. That's not important. Let's leave that aside and get back to the point. Zack chose me as his champion. I'll be wearing a suit of armour made by his son, Vitus, and I'll fight Otter's champion. Whoever falls first, loses. <laughs> that sounds like a fine spectacle for the village green. Naturally, I'll have to be present to ensure nothing untoward happens. <laughs> Your presence is certainly expected, Bailiff. We'd like you to referee the whole duel. Very well. We'll have it on the marketplace in the front of the church. But when? That's up to you. We could announce it right now. Let's do it. I'll have it announced around town. You come along at just the right time. It'll be a fine show for the townsfolk, and I'll finally get that pair and their constant squabbling off my back. Good citizens of Sassau. Our township has long been plagued by a protracted dispute. As you are no doubt aware, Zack, the blacksmith of the monastery courtyard, and master armorer Otto Rabstein have been, for some time, at odds. <laughs> and in so much as it behoves my office as bailiff to settle such disputes and maintain peace and order, I have decided to resolve the blacksmith's quarrel by unconventional means, whilst affording an entertaining spectacle. In short, we shall let them knock each other's teeth out. <laughs> However, since it ill befits two respectable tradesmen to maul each other on the market square like a pair of cocks on a dung heap, each of them has elected a champion. Zack, the blacksmith, has appointed to fight in his stead Henry of Scarlet and Master Otto Rabstein's champion will be... <laughs> Please introduce yourself, Sir Knight. Master Otto! Well, fight for Master Otter. I don't need some young pup to take my place. <laughs> I remind you that this will be a duel with bludgeons alone. And until first blood is shed. Come, folks, be sensible for heaven's sake. We don't want any maiming here. Or, God forbid, murder. So, if both contestants are ready, let us begin. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> you kicked that old bastard's ass, Henry. His ears will be ringing for a month. Now everyone will see who knows how to make armor and who's all hot air. And he said it's like that all over. Why is that now? Oh, the roads ain't safe. It was as easy as falling off a log. Any other business disputes you'd like me to sort out for you? I might have, lad. But not any you can solve with a bludgeon. Anyway, come by the forge later for your reward. All right? God be with you. I'll come for my reward. Of course. And thanks again, lad. It's worked wonders for my trade. I'm glad your trade is going well. Now, about our little deal. Ah, that little matter. Right, 